What's up guys, it's Kino here again for the first time in however long it's been. Um, yeah, we're gonna play some Pokemon Showdown. OU, I uh, made a pretty fun Gardevoir team. Uh, Mega Gardevoir was released kind of recently, so made this fairy spam stuff, it's fun. Basically, the idea is Mega Gardevoir and Tapu Lele is like the main offensive core, spamming psychic and fairy type attacks. And um, basically to take care of checks, we have Eject Button Toxapex, go straight into Doug Trio. Kill said threat with Earthquake, so like, you know, I can come in on a Heatran or something like that. Uh, Screech is nice because it also means I beat Chansey with Screech plus um, uh, Tectonic Rage or whatever it's called, the Earth Z Earthquake. And then, I don't know, Latios, Scarf Latios because I needed a fast Scarfer because I kind of get destroyed by things like Scarf Gengar if it's played well. And of course, as soon as I start recording, I get a call from my grandmother. I'll be right back, guys. All right, shout outs to the Kino grandma. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so Scarf Latios because um, Scarfers and Setup Mons kind of beat me. I don't really have any priority on this team, and by that I mean I don't have any priority on this team. Um, but uh, yeah, well, and Ferrothorn rocks, you know, standard. Let's go ahead and play. We are in the 1500s right now, so we should be getting uh, pretty good games. As our first one is against Sticky Web. And a Golisopod. Uh, I kind of I like the idea behind his team. Oh man, see this is why this is where I don't like Scarf Latios, um, because Scarf Defog's kind of whack. Um, let's see. He doesn't have any real Psychic Resist. Magneton's still gonna take a ton of damage from this Psychic. Um, so I kind of want to lead it, and also I can I can eat a hit from the um, the Galvantula. I can get Latios in on something to defog the, re the webs away, so I'll, I'll lead Tapu Lele as he leads Galvantula like we thought. Bug Buzz isn't going to do anything, and I will be able to yeah bring this down to its sash. If he chooses to attack me, that would be amazing, but no, he's going to be smart. Put his webs up. Uh, that's cool. We can... You know what we can actually do is... if he go So if he goes Magneton, um, I can go into my Toxapex. I know it sounds weird switching a Water-type into an Electric-type, um, and he could definitely go for Volt Switch, but I feel like he'd go for Flash Cannon just because it's the safe play. But even if he does go for go uh, Volt Switch, the Eject button does stop him from switching, so I can go into Doug Trio and, excuse me, and um, knock him out. Uh, I should outspeed after um, after Rocks. Or sorry, after even after Sticky Web, unless he's a Scarf Magneton, but I if he's Scarf and he Electric Move, that's great, but... I might- he's actually gonna go straight to Togekiss, so I'm actually just gonna Psychic this again. I- I don't really mind. I- I- getting damage on this is great. This- he could definitely Thunder Wave me. He could definitely Thunder Wave me, but, um, I don't know. I- I'm not really too worried about that. That only does 50. Yeah, there's the Thunder Wave. Oh, and he misses! Oh, that is unfortunate. Um, I kind of want to just take full advantage. Nah, I'm- I'm just gonna- oh, I just realized I'm double Scarf on this team. I could probably change Lele to something else also. Um, let's see. Like, I could go Doug Trio, but I don't really get anything from that. I think I'd rather just go Ferrothorn. I don't really want to get Rocks up, though, because I'm going to just defog with Latios anyways. In fact, um, I could just, honestly, I could just defog now, you know? I, I don't want to switch in on a T-Wave. I'm going to, I think I'll attempt to go Doug Trio. And then double into Latios, because he's not gonna T wave Doug Trio. So let's let's see if this works out for us. Yeah, so yeah, he goes for the T wave. Uh, he's obviously not trapped, but I'm gonna try to double to Latios now, just because I want to get off a of defog before he um, uh, before he um, paralyzes me. So we'll go for that defog now. Get rid of the webs. Um, Dragonite is definitely scary. If he sets up a DD, I could definitely be in trouble. Now that my Scarfer is paralyzed, but we're just gonna. We're just gonna pretend that doesn't matter. <laughs> we're, we're gonna pretend that everything's okay. We can go Ferrothorn here and um, get up our rocks. Maybe I, I could... The T-Wave sets don't typically run Flamethrower. I'd imagine he's like T-Wave, Roost, Air Slash, and then either Dazzle and Gleam, or I, I guess he could be Flamethrower. It could be Heal Bell. It could be Nasty Plot. It could be a couple things, but... He's going to switch out into his Galissapod, which is awesome. This is a prime opportunity for Stealth Rock, so we're going to go straight for it. As he goes into Magneton and traps me, but that's fine because... Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to you know double check to make sure that I'm actually trapped, which I am. That's fine. Um, going to try... I mean, I'm going to leech here. He'll knock me out. Oh, there's actually 
not even a 2 hit KO after the Leech Seed recovery, so I'll be able to get a decent, a little bit of damage on this too, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, so we'll get some damage on Magneton, but even though he's going to uh, trap and kill my Ferrothorn, I get to trap this right back with my Doug Trio. Uh, and now he has literally no uh, Psychic Resists, so. so that's awesome. Yep, go right into Dougie. Knock this thing out with the Earthquake. Okay, so he was Scarf, but again, doesn't really matter because he was locked into the HP fire. And Magneton is Magnagon. A hey, bars. Anyways, um, so Golispod's definitely a play here. Um, actually, he just goes Togekiss. I'm assuming this is Defog. I'm going to Toxic because I want to wear this thing down. And we'll also see if his fourth move is Heal Bell or not. Um, let's see. This being worn down is definitely nice. Um, I don't really... I kind of want Speed on Gardevoir. I don't want to go Toxapex, um... Because he'll just eject button me, which is kind of annoying. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. I'll get a safe switch into, like, um... Into one of my hard hitters if he does that, so... He goes, di he goes into Diggersby, which sucks for me, but... Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna sack Dougie here, actually. Well, no, I'll Scald because... See, that's... Mm, I think I'm gonna sack Latios, actually. He could definitely SD here, and that's what I'm really afraid of, is him Swords Dancing, and then having Quick Attack. I think I'm actually gonna Scald, because if he SDs, I'm in trouble. Yeah, so he goes. He does go for the SD. Um, do we get a Burn? We do get a Burn, which is awesome. He's Citrus Berry. Interesting. Um, and now I kind of want to just sack Latios. Ah, uh, sacking Doug Trio is probably better. Yeah, I don't, I don't hit anything on his team, so we'll sack Dougie here. Cool. And now we can go into our Tapu Lele. We are scarfed. The uh, Psychic Train will also prevent him from going for a quick attack or extreme speed, uh, which is great. And again, no Psychic Resist. And um, yeah, Togekiss gets to a KO'd also. He can no, he can't even first impression with Galissapod. I actually want to. I wonder if I don't think I knock out Galissapod. If that comes out, I'm gonna calc it. And instead of like awkwardly having the calc like different sizes and stuff and all that other crap like in my previous videos, I'm just gonna calc it off screen. Oh, he goes Dragonite. Um, interesting. I'm just gonna Psychic to break his um, multi scale. And yeah, even though he's Dragon Dance, I am. Yeah, I'm still faster. And I believe I knock him out, but let me double check real quick. Yeah, Psychic should do 68 min, so we're gonna knock him out now. Gone, goodbye. I guess he didn't realize I was Scarf. Um, but yeah, and now um, he's gonna forfeit. Yeah, that's game, cool. So good first game. Let's just go ahead and get another one. That guy was like upper 1600s too, oops. Oh, this guy's an Arcanine, this guy's a cool team. No hazard removal though, and I definitely want rocks up immediately. He has Jirachi, which is annoying, but I will, you know, trap that. I'll do the the Doug Trio thing, you know. You know the drill. You've seen me kind of do it once, I guess. Not really, but... This is a really fun team, I will say. So, Jirachi is a nice lead for him. I want to lead Ferrothorn. Um, I don't think... Alright, he leads Jirachi, so that's, that's good. I'm going to get my rocks up right now. He can trick me. He can fire punch me. As long as he's not sub, I think we're in an okay position. If he's... I, he's probably sub because I just said that, but... Let's see what he wants to go for. But yeah, Fire Punch. I'm pretty sure Fire Punch won't knock me out. It's been a while since I fought a Fire Punch Jirachi. Like an offensive Jirachi, but... He just goes for rocks. That's fine. I don't mind rocks, honestly. My team doesn't really care about rocks that much. In fact, I want to Thunder Wave whatever comes in next before anything else. I'm gonna guess his Garchomp is Scarf also. Actually, it could be Mega. That could definitely be Mega Chomp on this team, because he's got the Sand with Tyranitar. Um, so he's either... I don't know what his T-Tar would be, but he could be Mega Chomp. Alright, we're gonna Paralyze Buzzwall, that's pretty cool. Nope, we're not gonna Paralyze Buzzwall, just kidding. Um, Alright, this is an issue right now. I'm gonna go into Gardevoir. I know, okay, switching Gardevoir into Buzzwall is very risky. But if he subs, I want to be able to Hyper Voice through his sub. Um, if he knocks out... And, and like, he's not gonna go... For, I don't think he'd go for a bug move here. I don't think he'd go for Leech Life. If anything, he'd go for like Focus Punch or Super Power. Um, he goes for Hammer Arm. Okay, cool. So I'll take that. And he's going to lower his speed, which is great. 
And um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna hyper voice. Arcanine. If Ar Arcanine comes in, it takes rocks. Draji comes in, it's it's you know it's I'm modest. I'm modest Gardevoir also, so this should do a decent amount, even if he's Spideff. As yeah, he takes 31. Not bad at all. We see leftovers. So now I'm gonna do the thing where I go Toxapex. If he tries to U-turn, we trap it and knock it out. As he does go for a U-turn. And I will now eject button right into Doug Trio, and I'm gonna check real quick to see if I need uh, if I need to um, uh, use the Z move, or if I can just Earthquake him. I probably have to use the Z move, but you know we'll see. And let's see, Jirachi. I'm assuming this is the Spideff set. Earthquake does 67 minimum. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go for the Tectonic Rage. And uh, yeah, show me his um, show me his uh, Gardevoir or Tapu Lele switch-ins. What's his Moonblast switch-in with uh, Tapu Lele, you know? He's gonna go Buzz Wall. Um, I have a couple options. I can Toxic this and I can Memento this. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna Toxic it though. Put him on a timer. Is, oh, nope, not gonna Toxic it, just kidding. Wow, all right, cool, <laughs> awesome. Um, well, again, he does not have a great Hyper Voice switch in, uh, so I'm gonna go to that, and uh, something should die here. Arcanine, Arcanine won't die, but Arcanine will take a lot of damage. Uh, I'm really mad I missed the Toxic. If he's Sax Buzzwool here, I guess it didn't really matter, but... Like, I, I feel like Buzzwool doesn't do that much against my team, to be honest. Okay, and he's gonna Sack Buzzwool. Obviously the crit didn't matter. Um, if I can get rid of Titar, then Latios will be worth using also. Goes into Garchomp, so I'm definitely thinking this is Scarf Chomp. Um, and he can definitely Earthquake me here. I kind of want to make the Latios play. Because, I don't know, Ferrothorn's such an easy switch in. Do I need Ferrothorn? I want to keep Ferrothorn. Oh, this is, I guess, what I would have Ferrothorn for. I want to make the Latios play so badly. Because I want to keep Ferrothorn alive for- I want to keep Ferrothorn healthy for the, uh, the Tyranitar, and if he, like, if he predicts- If he predicts and goes for, like, a fire- uh, A fire move- I'm gonna go Latios. I'm gonna make the Latios play. I really don't think he would Dragon Claw here. Because he goes for Fire Fang. So, yeah, that, that's why I didn't want to go Ferrothorn, obviously. And now, um, I have some options now. I can Psy Shock, I can Draco. He's got Gardevoir, and he has, um, Tyranitar in the back. I'm not really- well, I guess I am kind of worried about the, uh, Gardevoir, actually, so... Hmm. I'm gonna Psy Shock just for damage on the Gardevoir. Yeah, so he does go Gardevoir. This should do an okay amount, I guess. Yeah, okay, I'm, ha I'm happy with that damage. And, um... I'm gonna- I'm just gonna Psychic again, actually- Psy Shock again, because that'll put him in range of Scarf Moonblast. Actually, do I even- uh, I don't want Lele to take- yeah, no, 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 because, yeah, I'll just- I'm just gonna Psy Shock again, he's going to Mega Evolve. But yeah, he's easily in range of Scarf Moon Blast now. I'll sack Latios for this, I'm, I'm, I'm really okay with that. As we go into Tapu Lele, and we get to click Moon Blast now. I'll actually- well, no, no, yeah, I can't click uh, Psychic because he's got that Titar right there, and I definitely do not want him clicking Pursuit against me. So Gardevoir is gone. That's a, a big heavy hitter. Um, and what's cool about the Psychic Terrain is Arcanine can't e-speed me. He's gonna go Tyranitar to get the sand up. Uh, but I'm just gonna go right into Ferrothorn for this. This is- this is why I didn't go Ferrothorn on Garchomp, so I could save it for the T-Tars. He has Dark Pulse! What in the world?! Special T-Tar! Hello? Alright. So that's what we're fighting right now. As, yeah, he shows Fire Blast, and it crits me. I- I wonder if that crit mattered. I'm actually not entirely sure, but... Uh, we can go Gardevoir now, and Hyper Voice uh, will knock this out through the sand because, again, I'm modest. I am faster too. <laughs> good. Probably should have checked that first, but it's all good. Ooh, actually, that doesn't knock it out at all. Hmm, this just got a lot harder. No, we're, mm, we're good. I, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, so we can Moonblast. Moonblast should take it out from this range, honestly. Okay, good. I was a little worried. Um, and now he's got Arcanine and he has Garchomp, so this is going to come down to the wire. He's going to go Garchomp here. I'm assuming this is... Well, Scarf Fire Fang? I would... I don't think this would be Scarf Fire Fang. This is usually Z-Move. Um, but it's not like I can switch this into Earthquake anyways. 
I, I think I have to Moonblast and hope for a crit or that it just kills. And it just kills. Awesome. Cool. I actually wasn't sure. Ta Scarf Lele is, like, since I've been using this team for a while now, and Scarf Lele is, like, not quite as strong as I want it to be. It's, it's definitely strong, especially when I get to click Psychic, but sometimes, the, like, I, I love Specs Lele, personally. I really love using Specs Lele. Um... And it, it, obviously that thing hits obscenely hard, but sometimes Scarf Lele just doesn't quite do it for me. Um, but it's definitely a great mon. So we win that one. I'm guessing his Arcanine wasn't going to be able to touch my uh, Toxapex. And uh, let's get one more. This will be a shorter live because, I don't know, I haven't been here in a while, I guess. My opponent has another Magneton. Why are there so many Magnetons? My opponent actually has a really weird looking team. He's got, I mean, he's got the Firewater Grass Core. He's got a Mega Pinsir, he's got Defog Latios, and he has Magneton to trap Ferrothorn. So, we're going to try and make some interesting doubles here. What's a good lead against him? I think Lele is pretty decent, actually. Yeah, I'll lead Lele, as he leads Pinsir, so that's cool. Um, just going to Psychic. TBH. This is where Specs would be amazing. Like, show me his Specs Psychic switch-ins. Yeah, like, he's, he's gonna live because I'm not Specs, unfortunately, but it is all good. Um, as much as I would have liked that to just kill, but... And Psychic, I knew he was gonna Mega Evolve, but Psychic would do more than T-Bolt anyways. Um, I didn't really have a switch into this, though, so I'm glad that this threat is gone. He actually can quick attack me because uh, I'm levitating, so the psychic terrain doesn't pr protect me from priority. Um, but we're gonna side shock anyways, as he is gonna try and save it. That does a, a good amount, actually. I'm pretty sure he's gonna try and toxic. Um, so I want to go Ferrothorn, and then I'm gonna try and double to Doug Trio. If he catches me on a double, then he got me. As he just goes straight for the recover, so I'll go Dougie here. He could actually just stay in and scald. Um, I'll go Doug Trio anyways. Let's see what it, if he scalds, he gets me. I gotta make plays because I'm in the back. As oh, that's awesome. We we trap Heatran. Cool. So this dies. Goodbye. All right. So that's his main hyper voice switch in gone. Uh, I do want to get rocks up ASAP. I wish Dougie had rocks just in this situation. Hmm. My other laptop is talking to me. Not something you hear every day, right? Um, let's see. I really want rocks up. I'm gonna go Ferrothorn here. Just just to try and get him up, and then I'm just gonna really try and pressure that uh I'm gonna try and pressure the defog on Latios, so. I really I really want to double to Doug Trio again, to be honest, but if he knocks out Ferrothorn, then I trap trap with uh Dougie afterwards anyway, so there's no point in doubling. As he just goes straight Magneton. Again, I could have predicted that, but I, I really didn't see the point. Um We'll leave seed. HP fire does a decent amount. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to get knocked out by the next HP fire. Now we go into Duck Trio. And we click Earthquake. As again, this is Scarf. Why is everyone running Scarf Magneton? I don't get it. But Also, on Latios, I can Memento, which will block the Defog. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. This will allow me to get my um, my Gardevoir in and click Hyper Voice on something. So if he wants to, yeah, he wants to defog to get the rocks away, that's fine. We get to knock out Latios. I'm not super worried about Pinsir, just because um, because I, I am Scarf Latios as he goes straight into Pinsir. I still have my Ejects button on Toxapex though, so. Uh, yeah, I, I really, if he SDs here, he gets me, but okay, he doesn't, he goes straight for frustration, does a good amount, gonna eject button, get the regenerator, and able to go right into Latios, and, um, hmm, I actually want to, I kind of want a Tailwind here, actually, um, I wish I wasn't Scarf here, because then I could Draco, but, or I could Draco and then Tailwind, but, uh, that's, that looked like Spadef Gastrodon, I think. I could also double here. Hmm. Alright, what's the play? 
Getting a T-Spike up soon would be nice also. Yeah, I'll Draco here to at least try and force a recover. I see goes Gastro. Nice. Does 50. Not bad. He he should recover here. But that'll give us another switch into um, into Gardevoir. If he doesn't recover, then I think I just knock it out with Hyper Voice. But he's going to double into Pinsir. Good play. Good play. I am going. How much Toxapex? How much did Toxapex take? I should have seen that couple double coming. That's kind of obvious, to be honest. But I, I just kind of autopiloted a little bit right there. Um, and I don't think I get two it KO'd just yet. So I am gonna go Toxapex. If he gets a crit, that kind of sucks. But or, uh, SDs. If he, unless he's Earthquake, he can't kill me. This guy just decided to make plays at the very end. Um, yeah, I'm gonna Scald here. If he's EQ, then I probably lose. Alright, I'll live that. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, cool. We are in there. We're definitely still in there. I can switch to Latios to get my regenerator. Um, and then... Oh, he just forfeit. Okay, cool. Alright, awesome. So we won all three of those. Good stuff. Um, this team's fun. Um, it definitely does have its issues. It's not perfect. Um, Latios doesn't always pull its weight, unfortunately. Um, but I, I wanted I wanted a ground immunity. I wanted defog. I wanted like an option for tailwind. I was experimenting with a couple different items on Latios. Also, I was using Soul Dew, Life Orb, Choice Scarf. You know things like that. Um, I guess I could like Lele doesn't have to be Scarf, but I don't know. It's 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 a nice check um, to to certain things, and also the fact that it's going to outspeed everything and just fire off powerful attacks is really nice. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's a fun team. If anyone wants it, just hit up the comments and I'll like paste it to you and stuff. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time, whenever that is. And uh, yeah, peace.